what do pregnant mothers need to know before and during child delivery so uh, first of all uh, i must tell you uh, the importance of first thousand days okay uh, first thousand days which uh, starts from conception of the baby okay uh, and it continues till second birthday of the child okay uh, the reason this particular first thousand days is very very important because the maximum uh, amount of growth occurs in first thousand days okay so growth includes your height like height of a child okay and also brain development okay so those two things are very very important in child's uh, growth and development because if you don't have good height uh, because of poor nutrition and if you don't have poor uh, uh, i mean if you have poor nutrition then it will affect your uh, mental iq also brain iq right so that's why it is very very important and specifically it is important uh, during pregnancy and first one year of life okay so pregnant mothers have to be very very vigilant about her own nutrition you know her mental health her physical health you know exercise uh, the understanding how babies uh, breastfeed so and uh, what are the options of uh, feeding the child okay and then uh, what happens uh, during delivery and what happens post delivery so these are important points that mothers need to understand uh, very very important is a nutrition because imagine the baby is being formed right in the womb and uh, she needs to understand that what all nutrients that she needs to eat in the form of food which will which will not only make a baby's muscle mass it will it will improve baby's growth in a sense baby will be tall when baby is born and then you want perfectly manufactured organs right because baby is being manufactured during this time you know in in first 9 months in the 9 month of pregnancy right so so uh, it, that uh, understanding of growth or uh, understanding of nutrition starts from even before pregnancy actually okay and once you conceive then you want to definitely improve your protein intake okay and then other uh, nutrient like your calcium intake uh, you know i am talking about from food okay uh, food food through food uh, uh, you know i'm talking about nutrition through food and then also uh, folate zinc b12 choline there are like about 40 nutrients iron you know uh, good fats which is important for baby's growth baby's brain actually so uh, so that that is your uh, nutrition aspect uh, exercise is also very important uh, they can join yoga they can join as you guys know you know uh, but uh, like i won't go too much in detail but uh, that exercise during pregnancy is also as important mental health is very important mental health now a lot of research is coming out that if if mothers eat a good nutritious diet uh, you know and if she is in a good environment uh, you know it will improve her mental health also and and the last trimester i would say i would recommend in the last month of the pregnancy mother has to know uh, importance of breast crawl okay uh, that breast crawl is actually recommended by who where as soon as baby is born baby is put on mother's tummy and the baby crawl to baby's mother's breast and then they start uh, suckling okay so that phase is very very important uh, skin to skin contact immediately after birth is very important now if mothers don't know this and if they don't demand from doctors doctors will not do it you know uh, they still uh, they take babies uh, in a separate room they give formulas they give other milk cow's milk you know uh, that will affect baby's uh, gut microbiome okay microbiome which are present in baby's gut uh, and baby will be prone for a lot of infection and this would be lifelong problem okay so this one thing that she needs to know uh, like how what is breast crawl it can be done during cesarean section also so it's not only for normal delivery it's, it's you know they can do it in cesarean and also another thing what you need to know is uh, breastfeeding skills because what, what most of the mothers are struggling with is proper skill during uh, immediately after birth okay so uh, she needs to know uh, i prefer cross cradle hold because it has given amazing results but the cross cradle technique okay and then uh, uh, basically there there are 45 points you know so uh, uh, those 45 points are important to understand uh, she can also buy a baby doll and a breast model then she can practice okay so that way once baby once baby comes out then she knows how to do it okay but she will need support from nurses also 
So it's important that she send this information to nurses also, so they can also learn. Okay, but it's only not for me. Just mother need to learn this skill. I think even if husband can learn, uh, you know, other family members like you know mother-in-law, sister-in-law, they can learn. They can support her. So those are a few to- a few points that she needs to learn. There are other points that she may need to read, like how to give a bath, when to give bath. You know, uh, what are other issues that uh, she can face? Uh, you know, with the baby, what happens when there's minor cold condition? What to do at home? You know, so those are minor things. But the uh, main thing is infant feeding. Okay, so if she's prepared, uh, she'll be able to fight that war in the battlefield. So I call that uh, post delivery as a hospital as a battlefield. Okay, there'll be so many issues, and then there won't be much support for her. You know, so she has to prepare herself. Okay.